Hey, welcome back to World War II Gaming. Today we're going to be looking at my helmet and gas mask collection. So, let's get on with the video. First, I have a United States World War II M1 helmet. This is an, this is an, an original. So, this one... So the M1 helmet was in service from World War II to Vietnam, with slight differences around the buckles and in there, but other than that, it's quite similar. And as you can see, it has this. This is to hold the liner in. You know, my liner really just wants, likes to stay in there well. I'm able to take the liner out to show y'all. Here, as you can see, is the liner to it. And here's the helmet shell. So I'm going to put the liner back in the helmet shell and put it on to show y'all what it looks like. Put that on there. And as you can see, it looks like this. The helmet strap around the liner should be tighter than it is, but I just leave it so loose so I can get, get the liner off easily. There we go. But anyhow, now I'm going to move on to the next helmet. So I have, we can set this here. Now we're going to move on to the helmet that replaced it. This is a PSGT helmet. It served from the 1980s, right after that, the US M1 helmet was retired. This one was in the Iraq War. Which, most of these were retired by then and replaced with the helmet that replaces it. But this one was still serving on because they did not have enough of that helmet for the Iraq War. So this one ha is modified. The strap system, which makes it a bit rarer than the regular one. But yes, I will. And this one also has a helmet cover right here. Woodland camo. I, which um, I will put on in another video, but not right now. So, I'm going to put this on and show y'all. The I don't have the straps done real well, so please excuse it not being on properly or being a little bit loose. Now, I'm going to move to gas masks. First off, we have a Soviet, Soviet civilian GP5. I'm going to grab it right here. Move that there. Now, these were produced for civilians. The, now, it, I know it looks like the military Soviet gas mask, but the Soviet one that was military had a little bit longer piece right here, about see, probably to here, if I remember correctly. And the reason I won't put the filter in is because it's asbestos, and I will not, and I don't want my lungs to be shredded, but I will put on the gas mask. It's going to be hard for me to understand me with this on because it doesn't have a good voice diaphragm, but I will show you all. But yes, as you can see, it's quite hard to understand me with what I'm saying. And it also can, will cause the lenses to fog because it doesn't have a good tensile tube, I recall what it's called. Which directs the air away from the lenses. I mean, no, no, it directs it to there. Which keeps them from fogging up as bad. I also have some spare lenses and the holding case. Next, we're going to be looking at an Israeli civilian gas mask. This one is very good, and I will put the gas mask filter on because these are nice and quite safe. They're asbestos-free, and Israeli gas mask civilian ones are quite good. Come on. There we go. Uh, but what you never want to do is have your filter there, and you want and leave that in there because you will suffocate if you leave that on. But yes, I will try this on, and then I will show you why you don't want to, want to leave it on there. So, I'm about, as you can see, it's a little bit easier to understand me, because it has a um, voice diaphragm. But I will show, but I'm about to show y'all what happens when you don't do it. That's what happens. You can't get any air in there, so you would end up suffocating. So that's why you remove this. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. Like, subscribe.